I'm reviewing this uh, Venture Pal day bag and I just wanted to share a couple of things about the bag and why I got it, etc. Uh, so I'm planning a trip to San Francisco, California soon and I am going basic economy on my flight since that's kind of the trending thing these days. And you're only allowed one uh, carry-on and personal item together so I figured I need a day bag. I don't want to have a bulky one and what can work. So I looked on Amazon and this is one of the top ones that I found. Um, it folds up into this really nice pouch. The pouch itself has a little pocket and a zipping and unzipping pouch here too with netting mesh. And then it opens up from a pocket that's actually on the outside of the bag itself. And this is the pouch that it actually came in. So when you pick it up, it's kind of what it looks like. Now right off the bat, you can see that uh, the lining's a little off on the decoration here. That's a reflector. But, you know, it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. So I figured, okay, we'll still give it a shot. I noticed that the zippers here first thing off the bat was when you try to zip it closed it tends to get stuck on this little flap here and the flap is kind of to cover the zipper and make it look flush and kind of sleek but I find it a little difficult to actually open the bag itself with that piece there and I also find it to get stuck on these little pieces here uh, of fabric. But considering that it's a very thin bag, um, there's really no structure on the bag itself because the fabric is just so thin. I guess that's another flaw that I would kind of uh, make do. There is a buckle here, and it's called a sternum buckle. It's got a whistle on it, and it's pretty nice quality. When you try to tug on it, there's like no way it's gonna come loose, so that's really nice. It's very light and thin. So overall, I don't think you would carry tons and tons of stuff in this bag because uh, it's very thin and there's really no shape. So if you put too much stuff in it, then the straps would probably be a little uncomfortable. Maybe a bit awkward. But one great thing that I noticed is that it has two of these water bottle holders, one on each side. And I fit my um, thermos in there that's like a 20 ounce one, pretty tall, and it fit great. It wasn't gonna fall out or anything because the pockets are pretty deep. That was really nice. Inside this is the outside of the pocket earlier that I showed you. So you have the little pocket here and then the mesh unzipping one there. Then you have another pocket here at the top of the bag. Pretty good size, probably like a wallet cell phone or maybe even a external battery charger for your phone. And then when you open up the main compartment here, there's a main compartment that's very large. And when you actually look at it from the side of the bag, it's pretty big. And then you have like a laptop sleeve here, but there's no padding. It's just very thin material. And even at the bottom of the bag, it's very, very thin material here. So if you put a laptop in there, it'd just be dead weight on a very thin material. So you'd have to be pretty careful putting it down on any hard surfaces. And then when you look deeper in the bag, there's another compartment here that's like a smaller sleeve. 
And in there, you could probably fit, you know, maybe, I think it's like a gallon Ziploc bag size is what I'd want to, want to call it. It's kind of hard to see because it's pretty deep in there. But yeah, this is the 35 liter. Um, I do feel like it could fit that much in this bag if you really packed it full. Um, I put like a couple of hoodies in here earlier and some water bottles and you see how deep it is here and how wide it is also. The material is really nice. It's this like almost stitched looking material and it's like a really tough nylon-y material. The zippers have these like really great pulls on them so you don't have to be looking around and fumbling around for tiny little zipper pulls. Same goes for the zippers on the main compartment here. As you see, like I said earlier, it's kind of hard to pull on it itself because the bag doesn't really have structure. So you're kind of pulling all the fabric along with the zipper. And then the outer pocket does have the tiny little zipper pulls. There's also a strap here with buckles so that you can kind of pull the weight together into the bag. So when you strap it closed, you have less give and that's more compact and it sticks to your body better. I found that to be a great design. I have yet to use this bag. Um, I'm leaving for San Francisco in a couple of weeks. So hopefully it'll work out pretty good. And I'll let you guys know how it works out when I get back but I just wanted to give you guys a cool little demo of what this bag looks like. And hope it will work out great, but we'll see. Stay tuned.